Hello and thank you for listening to the Georgia's Live podcast, the official podcast of Georgia's Majestic Lounge. I am your host, Travis Smith. Another great interview this week. We have Marty Stewart on the podcast. He comes on to talk about his upcoming show with the Steve Miller Band at the Arkansas Music Pavilion. That takes place on June 16th. It's going to be a classic rock meets classic country tour. We talked about how he got teamed up with Steve Miller for that tour, as well as his Congress of Country Music that he is starting in his hometown. I'd like to thank Marty for coming on the podcast. I'd like to thank you guys for listening. And be sure to tell your friends, rate and subscribe. This is the Georgia's Live podcast, and you can go online to georgeslive.com to see what future shows are coming here. And we'll be dropping a new podcast next week that has a list of everything that we have coming up in the upcoming week and the weeks to follow. Without further ado, here is Marty Stewart on the Georgia's Live podcast. All right, I am here with Marty Stewart. How are you doing, buddy? I'm having a good day. Hope you are. Absolutely. We uh, have you coming back to the Arkansas Music Pavilion here, where you were here last year supporting Chris Stapleton, which was a great show. And we have you back this year with the Steve Miller Band. Well, may as well take up residence there, right? <laughs> I know, right? And we have you on the That's classic. Good. We have you on the Classic Rock Meets Classic Country Tour, which is going to be pretty cool. And you guys are looking at quite a few dates on here. Can you tell me how this tour came about? That's a pretty interesting concept. Steve reached out to uh, me, I guess, four or five years ago, maybe four years ago. And he was doing two nights at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. And he had seen my television show, and he was a big fan of that and a big fan of my band. And so it seemed like an unlikely pairing, which is the kind of pairings I love the most. And uh, we did two nights at the Ryman, and it clicked, and it worked, and we've been pals ever since. Uh, I went to New York City with my band uh, right before Christmas last year. We did two nights at Jazz at Lincoln Center with him. So it just feels right. Steve is a world-class musical citizen. He knows no boundaries. He's a, he's just a classic guy, a great guy. And so I'm truly looking forward to it. This is his concept, and I'm, I'm t- totally willing to try it. And I noticed that he's also on your late night jam with you in uh, June, which you have some good names on there with Dirks Bentley and Shell Crow. And can you kind of tell us about that? The late night jam is a show that I started, I guess, eight, 17, 18 years ago. It's kind of, I've always considered it the pirate ship of um, the CMA Fest. Mm-hmm. You see things there you won't see any other time that week. Uh, unique combinations of people. You know, everybody's welcome. On the main stages of the CMA Fest, you, you you see who's current and who's burning the charts up at the second day. So at our show, you see old legends, uh, classic people. You see brand new artists that are you know going on to be superstars, and as well as current people who are you know, burning the charts up. So the sky's the limit there creatively. Something that's pretty cool you've got going on with the uh, Congress of Country Music in your hometown. You have memorabilia and a museum and all kinds of stuff. it's a cultural center, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural center. There's performance theater. uh, There's museum space to house my collection. I call it my Hillbilly Presidential Library, is what it really is. And uh, there's an overall musical museum trail in the state of Mississippi, my home state. And Tupelo up in the North States for rock and roll comes from, in my opinion, uh, the Presley birthplace. Absolutely. Over in the Indianola, where B.B. King had his place, the Clarksdale Blues Museum. The Grammys put in an incredible facility on the campus of Delta State University up there. So that's the North State. I'm in the Central State. So that's where the Jimmy Rogers Museum and Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Commission in Meridian is, and 35 miles away is my hometown of Philadelphia. And it's called Marty Stewart's Congress of Country Music, and that will be the spiritual home of country music in Mississippi. That's amazing. And you have, you're have you going to have yeah. memorabilia in there. I have questions about that. Is that is that stuff that you've collected throughout your career, or have you well, had to Well, memorabilia people sounds like a cheap term, really. It's just, that sounds like stuff you you know get at a flea market or oh, something. Yeah. But the, the, the artifacts, you know, they're, they're the Smithsonian-level treasures. And, uh, you know, Johnny Cash's first black suit, uh, his lyrics, original lyrics to Foles and Prison Blues. Hank Williams' original lyrics to Cold Cold Heart, Your Cheating Heart. Hank Williams' costumes, uh, the boots Patsy Klein was wearing when she passed away. You know, there's about 20,000 items at that level. Sounds like anybody that would be a country music or, you know, kind of Delta rock fan. It sounds like anything 
you'd find everything you'd ever want in there, pretty much, it sounds like. Well, I think, you know, and it's Bianca, it, it is, it's country artifacts. However, it's part of the American story. So, you know, if you're uh, just a history buff or a country fan or a music fan, period, there's something there for you, you bet. I appreciate you coming on. I just wanted to talk about these cool things you've got working on. Well, thank you, man. You're invited. You're totally invited. I'd be glad to have you come. But all, all that's left to do is build a building now, so uh, we're still raising some funds, but everything's in place except that. So when, are you guys, the piggy bank. when are you guys looking to have that open? I would hope in three to four years. Nice. Re- reality. Well, I appreciate you coming on the Georgia's Live podcast. We're definitely looking forward to another great performance at the Arkansas Music Pavilion. Looking forward to seeing you again, man. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Marty. Have a great day, and thank you for coming on the Georgia's Live podcast. Thanks. Have a good day. You too.